friends welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here my name is Jen I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers blue plan it's Monday so it is another meal prep this one took a little bit of a turn unfortunately the oven portion of my brand new range quit working a few days ago it's literally brand new less than a year old so we're in the process right now of waiting for a technician to come out and service it it has a failure code luckily the stove top still works but the actual oven does not so i had to do some modifications to this week's meal prep but no fear i still have a breakfast lunch and a dessert for you all without an oven so this may come in handy for you down the road this meal prep is easy peasy and everything is absolutely incredible so if you're excited for today's video please give it a big huge thumbs up it really helps out my channel and lets me know to keep putting out these meal preps also if you're new and you're not yet part of my channel i'd love to have you hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded meal prep happens every monday so make sure you're part of my channel don't forget to check out the description box down below for the 2021 custom calendar the first thing i created for my new small business it's awesome it's a way to track your life in the new year everything from your food to self-care your water and even your workout so definitely get your hands on one down in the description box i'm shipping same day so you'll have it immediately so grab one while well, you can. Don't forget about my nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. Definitely take advantage of that as well. Links, discount codes to what I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things are in that description box. And last but not least is my Facebook group, another amazing, supportive, wonderful community that would love to have you. So head on over and join us. So let's jump into this exciting yet interesting meal prep. breakfast this week improvising my original meal plan I'm making a raspberry breakfast crepe I just actually got a crepe maker which I'm super excited about so before I show you what's in this week's recipe let me show you my crepe maker in case it's something that you've been looking at or that you're interested in I want to share with you guys my crepe maker kind of a little more in depth this is the first time I've ever had one and I'm pretty darn excited about it because it just doesn't do crepes you can do blintzes pancakes bacon you can really cook anything on this crepe maker that is cooked on a griddle so i love that it replaces basically two kitchen appliances and it's much smaller so this is a 12 inch crepe maker from the company basic concepts it has a very simple dial to use and understand it comes with both tools to create your crepes pancakes blintzes and then it comes with a hundred recipes that you can do on your crepe maker this is super cool and this is saving the day for this meal prep because i don't have my oven what i love too is this particular one has a built-in indicator light the light will stay on until it's warmed up and then once the desired setting is reached it will go off so that's really nice because then you know that your crepe maker is ready to be used the wooden spatula and then this is that cool spreader if you guys have ever seen them make crepes they like move it all around i'm pretty excited to be like a crepe professional it has lifetime replacement if it doesn't exceed your expectations and then of course it's from Amazon so you could always return it but right now this particular crate maker is $49.95 but then there's a 5% off coupon and that is right now so if you're interested go grab it while you can because as you know those coupons and things on Amazon change all the time so there you have it that's my crate maker so let's make our breakfast and here is what is in our breakfast so you're going to need some flour light butter milk of your choice i'm using whole milk because we have it on hand and i want it to add that little bit of extra creaminess and it doesn't change calories or points really at all we're not using enough to really make much of a difference you'll also need eggs this is my monk fruit lakanto sweetener which is my very very favorite i just have it in this pretty little jar i will link lakanto down below with 15 percent off for you guys so you can hop on 
order all your favorite Lakanto products. You guys know I love the chocolate chips, all the monk fruit sweeteners and golden powdered and granulated all for 15% off. So that'll be down below for you. Raspberries. I'm just using fresh raspberries from my imperfect foods box. Again, I'll link in perfect foods for you too with $10 of free groceries and then some salt. So I'm really excited. Let's make some crepes and cross your fingers that they turn out. So to start our crepes, the first thing you're going to need is a bowl and a whisk. You can also use a hand mixer if that's easier for you. So I'm going to crack my three eggs into my bowl and whisk those or beat those together really, really well. Now we're going to beat in one cup of milk. Again, I use the whole milk and one and a half tablespoons of light butter melted. So go ahead and add that and beat that really, really well. Once that is mixed really well, we're going to add just a pinch of salt. And then we are going to add in three quarters of a cup of flour and one tablespoon of the monk fruit sweetener. So I just leave mine in this cute jar, but one tablespoon of that. And then again, mix really, really well until everything is incorporated. I'm warming up my crepe maker. You can see here that I have it turned on kind of halfway between the light and the dark. That green light will go on once it is warm to temperature. So we're going to let that warm up. I went ahead and measured out three tablespoons of light butter just so we can add that to the crepe maker to make our crepes. Here is our batter. It turned out really, really well. And I'm just going to use a one half of a cup to scoop it onto the crepe maker. I went ahead and sprinkled a little bit of the monk fruit over my raspberries just to sweeten them up a bit. This is actually the filling for the breakfast crepe. Alrighty, our green light is on, so we are at temperature. So this again is about three tablespoons of light butter. This recipe makes four crepes, so I wanna make sure that I'm only adding enough butter for one crepe at a time. So go ahead and spread that out over the top. Just get your griddle pan looped up a little bit with that light butter. You could also use nonstick cooking spray if you wanted to save on a little bit of points. And then I'm going to get about one half of a cup of my crepe mixture and pour that onto the crepe maker. You guys, this is super Super cool that this is designed for crepes but can be used for so many different things. I'm pretty darn excited about this and I'm really excited to use this guy. So this is actually designed to bring the crepes to the edges. So you kind of flood the crepe with this so that it makes it nice and big and it can go all the way to the edge of this pan because there is a little lip on it which prevents the crepe from flowing over the edge. We are going to let this cook and then we'll flip when it's ready. So you can see my crepe doesn't really show any liquid. So you guys, it's my first time making this, but I think that kind of like eggs, it's ready to be flipped when it's in a solid form. So I'm going to use the little wooden spatula that came with my crepe. Oh, I'm scared. And I'm going to flip my crepe over. Oh, it looks like it's pretty solid. Okay. Oh, boo. Okay, you guys, real life. That did not work so well. I think if we use a spatula instead of this, an actual spatula, that will help. So it kind of got a little wonky when I flipped it. So next one we make, let's try flipping it with a spatula and see if that actually flips it more evenly, but it's still going to work. It just won't be as pretty as we were hoping. But once you flip it over, this is where you add in whatever filling that you wanna use. So I'm just going to add in some fresh raspberries. And then when I go to eat this, I may top it with a bit of powdered sugar. A uh, Lakanto makes an excellent powdered sugar. So we'll just kind of see how I'm feeling each day, but I wouldn't want to do that anyways until I go to eat the crepe. And at this point is when you would actually fold your crepe over. Now, if mine would have flipped a little bit better, it would look a little nicer. By flipping it, it will help cook the raspberries in the middle as well and make them really nice and juicy. So go ahead and flip that over. Give it a little bit of a press just to make sure that it's sealed closed and we're good to go. And now we're just going to transfer the crepe which I think crepes are generally smaller than this. I don't know, I should do a little more crepe research, but I'm going to transfer the crepe here to a plate. She isn't the prettiest, but it smells and looks delicious. So now we're going to start on crepe number two. And remember this recipe makes 
four crepes total. And this time I am going to flip with a spatula. So I'm hoping that that kind of helps flip it a little bit better. So that worked a lot better using the spatula. It wasn't perfect, but it definitely worked better. Now, if you had a wider kind of cookie type of spatula, that would be ideal, but you know what? That works a lot better. So we're going to add in the raspberries in the middle and kind of keep your raspberries towards the center so they don't poke out the ends and fall out. That's what happened with my last one. And then I'm just going to kind of roll it up and make a crepe. This definitely looks a lot better than the other one. So spatula for the win. So the crepes are done. Doesn't this look so good? I added a little bit of powdered sugar to it. What I plan on having with my crepe is some zero point protein, some eggs. I might fry up some Canadian bacon. Even though that's points, it's very, very minimal. But this is a great start to a breakfast. So in here, I have the other three crepes that I made because it made four servings total. Each crepe is six smart points so that's not bad at all on all plants 237 calories so again you could pair this with eggs you could do sausage bacon whatever works into your points or calories but this is a sweet indulgent easy breakfast and this crepe maker saved the day because of my oven so i'll link it down below for you guys and this is breakfast for the next four days For lunch this week, I'm making an Instant Pot recipe. I have to say I'm really happy that I have other cooking sources like an Instant Pot and a couple of air fryers and that amazing crepe maker just so I can still prep my food and stay on track. So I'm so grateful for that. So this recipe is all done in the Instant Pot, which I love because it's easy. This is a chicken tortellini soup. It's cold here, so soup comes in perfect this time of year. For the soup, you'll need six cups or one and a half boxes of chicken stock, oil of your choice. This is just the Chosen Foods avocado oil, minced or fresh garlic. The recipe calls for a bag of frozen vegetables, but because I'm on a whim making this recipe, I don't have any frozen mixed veggies. So I'm going to put in a can of green beans and a can of Rotel, and that'll give it that little bit of extra vegetables. Some cut up celery sticks, a couple of yellow onions, Chicken breast, I have just under a pound here. This is the boneless chicken breast from Butcher Box. You guys know I love Butcher Box. I, Troy and I had steak the other night and we're saying how amazing the quality is. There is such a huge difference between Butcher Box meat and traditional GMO grass fed meat. So we love the Butcher Box. We get it every single month. I will link it down below with $30 off your first box. So highly recommend. I know a lot of you are changing up the way you're eating in the new year and really having a focus on real whole organic food. So Butcher Box is a huge, huge game changer when it comes to that. Salt and pepper, and you'll need some frozen, or you could even use fresh tortellini. So the first thing I'm going to do is just quickly chop up a few celery sticks and my onions. I'm just going to pop them here in a bowl until we put together everything in the Instant Pot. So we are ready to go. I've got my Instant Pot. I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil in the bottom. The order of the ingredients that I put in my Instant Pot is the way the recipe calls for. Apparently there is a set process for adding the ingredients. So my Instant Pot is currently off. I have the one tablespoon of oil. Then we are going to add the cut up onions and celery. And I will link my Instant Pot down below for you guys. I just bought it off of Amazon. I love it. It's pretty darn amazing. And then we are going to add in the two chicken breasts. We're actually putting these in thawed but in whole form next up is the six cups of chicken broth now the recipe says to add the tortellini in but as i read further into the recipe it tells me to add the tortellini in after it's done cooking so i'm going to do that i'm afraid that if i added it in at this stage like part of the recipe says that it would come out really mushy so i am just going to add it in when this portion is completely done. So last but not least is some garlic. I hardly have any left here in my container. So I'm just going to put the rest of the minced garlic in and then some salt and pepper. I'm 
I'm now going to put my lid on and it says to cook it on high for five minutes. So I'm gonna hit the manual button for five and we'll be back in a flash as soon as it's done. All right, I just did the quick release on the Instant Pot. When all the pressure is released, we'll pop the lid off, add in our tortellini and our veggies. So I just popped the lid off. You guys, this smells so good. I'm pretty darn stoked for this lunch. So you can see my couple of chicken breasts kind of floating here in the liquid. I'm going to pop these out and shred these up and then we'll re-add the chicken to the broth. So the chicken is shredded and re-added. This looks so good. Okay, so last step is the veggies. So you would use the frozen mixed veggies if you follow the recipe, but I'm adding in my Rotel and my can of drained green beans. And this is just going to add the veggies that I wanted to my soup. And then the entire time it was cooking, I had my frozen tortellini out. So it's nice and soft and thawed now. So make sure that you don't add it in frozen. If you use the refrigerated tortellini, that's perfect. Otherwise, just let it thaw out while your soup is cooking. And add that in. We're gonna pop the lid back on for five to 10 minutes. We just wanna make sure that that tortellini softens and it will soften all on its own by just being in the hot broth. The soup is ready to go. So our tortellinis are nice and softened. So what I'm going to do is dish this up. It makes six servings. I'm going to dish up four servings in four individual bowls and then two servings in one bowl for Troy. That way he can try a little bit of the soup too. So here is my completed lunch. How easy was this in the Instant Pot? You get some chicken for protein, tortellini with cheese for carb and protein. And I'm really happy I chose to add in the green beans in Rotel. I think it's going to really give it a nice flavor. So this really full bowl is actually two servings. This is the one I'm going to set aside for Troy. And then this is one serving. This is a large, large meal prep bowl. And it is full, 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 full of the soup, which is amazing because it is only three smart points per bowl on blue and purple and only five points on the green plan. The only thing on blue and purple that has points, you guys, is the tortellini. So that is so nice to be able to have a big hearty bowl of soup for three to five points. 244 calories the way that I created it. Again, using the green beans and the Rotel. But this is lunch. I'm really, truly looking forward to this. A sweet treat this week since we couldn't make our ginger cookies that recipe I promise is coming as soon as my oven is fixed we're gonna do what's called a, a blackberry slump which basically is a stovetop version of cobbler I'm excited for this I love cobbler I'm excited that this meal prep used my crepe maker my instant pot and now we're going to make a dessert on our stovetop so in the event that your oven ever fails you have lots of recipes to make that don't require the oven other than the stovetop so here's what in our blackberry slash blueberry slump. First you'll need flour, whole milk, monk fruit sweetener. Again, I'll link Lakanto down below with 15% off. Light butter, salt and baking powder, a lemon for both the zest and the juice, cinnamon, and then blackberries. But I have mine mixed with blueberries, so mine's going to be a blackberry blueberry slump. And then you're also going to need one third cup of water. So to make the blackberry slump, the first thing we're going to do is make our dumpling batter. And what's really cool about this is we're going to drop the dumpling mix into the pan. So it's all done in one pan, which is really cool as well. So I have one cup of all purpose flour. To that, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. This is a half teaspoon, so we'll add in three of those. We're also going to add in one half of a teaspoon of salt. 
And then two tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener. You can add more if you would like. It is zero points, but I'm going to follow the recipe pretty much to a T. And also there is sugar in the fruit mixture as well. So there's a little bit in the dumpling dough and a little bit in the fruit mixture. And then we are going to add in or cut in our two tablespoons of light butter. So we're going to add that in and kind of use our spoon in a cutting motion and cut in that butter and then mix all the rest of the dumpling dry ingredients together. Now we're going to add in one third cup of milk and give that a stir and that will make the dumpling consistency that we're looking for. So here is our dumpling mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and form this into a ball. Our dough ball is formed, so let's put together the rest of the recipe. To a two quart saucepan, I've added four cups of fresh berries. So I added that entire container of blueberries and blackberries. I did go ahead and squeeze that fresh lemon and zested that. I'm also going to add in a little bit of cinnamon or a lot of it in my case. And then lastly, one third cup of water. And we're going to let this come to a boil. And I decided to go ahead and add in the lemon zest as well. Now that the berries have started to warm just a bit, I added in one half of a cup of the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener as well. So this is going to make a nice, thick, kind of lemony sauce. So it is coming to a boil. What we're going to do is just give it a stir. We wanna make sure the berries are nice and coated in the sauce just make sure that you get them wet so that when we add in the dumplings they'll continue to cook really good together so now I have my dumpling ball and I'm literally just gonna rip off dough and place it around the edge of the pan and this is what's going to form the dumplings once it softens and cooks all right, dumplings are in. We are going to pop a lid on, reduce the heat just a little bit, and let this simmer and cook for about 25 minutes or until the dumplings are cooked through. The trick is do not remove the lid. Even to peek at the dumplings, leave the lid on for a solid 25 minutes. Look at how amazing this looks. My house smells like a bakery. I'm really happy that my oven broke when it comes to this recipe. So I am going to pop the lid off. And that is our slump. So like I said, it's kind of a cobbler consistency. I think it's even pretty, yeah, it's even pretty thick. So I'm going to take this off of the heat, let this cool for just a few minutes. This entire pot only makes four servings. I'm not going to divide this out. I'm just actually going to leave it in the pot with the lid on and just pop that into my refrigerator but i do want to give you guys some points and calories so it's been cooling for just a couple of minutes it's still pretty hot i will let it cool 100 percent completely before i pop it in the refrigerator but again this entire pot makes four servings it is only five smart points on all plans and that's not bad at all considering there's a dumpling and a crust added to the fruit mixture but look at how good this looks you guys it's thick it smells incredible it's 181 calories per serving wow i again i'm excited so even though my oven broke these three recipes turned out better than expected thank you so much for joining me on another weekly ww meal prep i'm so glad that i was able to still prep three really delicious recipes for you even without an oven don't let anything stand in your way you guys we can make it through anything so if you enjoyed today's meal prep please give it a big huge thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed of course we'd love to have you be part of our community all you have to do is just hit that little red subscribe button and ring that bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded don't forget to check out the custom 2021 calendar nutrition coaching links and discount codes to everything i shared today and my favorite things and my facebook group another community that would be absolutely honored to have you thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic monday and i'll see you all next time bye